An unbelievable weekend in Serie A has come to an end and the real question is, can anyone stop Napoli? Of course, this was the big test for Maurizio Sarri's team going to Rome at the Stadio Olimpico to face Roma that were in good form and end up winning, winning 1-0 dominating for big parts of the game, almost there was an embarrassment even by the Giallorossi in facing a team that is so good at ball possession like Napoli are. And of course, the goal that came from a mistake of Daniele De Rossi has a name that is Lorenzo Insigne and that shows how good Napoli are at having a lot of different players scoring. And the quality in them being able to manage the game, of course, there's a component of luck as well as, uh, of course, the Giallo Rossi had the chances hitting the post with uh, Fazio with a, an absolutely fantastic save by Pepe Reina and then the top of the crossbar with Edin Dzeko. The chances were there. A, a point would probably have been a good result for Napoli anyway, but if Roma, having their chances at home, can't beat Napoli or can't even draw against Napoli, well then really who can stop the Partenope? They've already beaten Lazio away, Roma away. Now, of course, you're going to face Inter at home, and that will be an interesting game as well. And then all eyes on when Napoli face Juventus. Of course, that's going to be the ultimate test. But as things are right now, nobody can really stop Napoli. Napoli are first with 24 points out of 24. And, you know, there might be some repercussions if you look at the fact you're going to have to play Manchester City in the Champions League, so the expenditure of energy, even mentally, that goes into a game like that could make a difference on the league as well, especially if Napoli were to lose badly. In that case, well, the reaction will have to be really important. But right now, there is nobody in Serie A who can stop Napoli. Our Lazio Scudetto challenger as well, I mean, Looking back at what we just said about Napoli, well, of course, in that case, if nobody can stop Napoli and Lazio lost 4-1 against Napoli, well, then Lazio are just not good enough to make the final step and fight for this Scudetto. They can probably, will be fighting until the very last day for a Champions League spot. And that's already a fantastic achievement, if you think about it, um, for Simone Inzaghi's team. But of course, from doing that, like Napoli and Roma were last season, and then making the final step and winning the title, well, maybe Lazio aren't at that level just yet, even though they managed to win 2-1 at the Juventus Stadium, or the Allianz Stadium, against Juve. But the thing is, the way they did it, the first half balanced, the second half, Lazio were all over Juventus. In a way, we haven't seen Juve at home in a very, very long time. Um, of course, it shows how the Bianconeri need a lot of work to ensemble this new team. Uh, you know, the likes of Douglas Costa, Bernardeschi, Matuidi um, coming in this summer and still not finding their feet completely with the Bianconeri. But on the other hand, there's a team that with the absences of Nani, who just got back, having sold Bigli and Keita in the summer, without Felipe Anderson, Ciro Immobile, an absolute star, scored 16 goals in 15 games this season, considering all competitions and the national team as well. And those, when, when you've got a striker on that form, who even goes himself to clash into Buffon, get that penalty, win it, score it under all that pressure against his former club. Right now, Immobile is the best Italian striker there is in Serie A. And on the other hand, you know, goalkeeper like Strakosha who makes the important saves when they matter. A bit of luck as uh, Juve did have their chances, Juve hit the woodwork twice. Uh, and Dybala missed the penalty, he did miss another penalty against Atalanta, but of course what are the chances of that happening twice in a row? All of these things considered, the way the likes of Lucas Leiva and Luis Alberto have been playing with the defenders at the back, getting everything right and annihilating a team, Juve that have won six Scudettos in a row and boasted the likes of Dybala, Higuain up front. Well, that shows that Lazio might not be ready for the final step for the Scudetto, 
but are just behind it. Now, how far can Inter go? If you look at the, at the points, of course, two points behind Napoli, having a, a won every single game and only drawn one, these are numbers that could see the Nerazzurri potentially fight for the Scudetto, if not have a comfortable second or third spot and go into that Champions League. That is the main objective. If you look at how the Nerazzurri play, well, they're getting there. For, for some parts of the game, they dominate their opponent. They did it against Milan. They did it from day one against Fiorentina, home to Spal. All these games in which, for 20-30 minutes, the Nerazzurri were the dominant side. But they lacked the consistency throughout the 90 minutes. And they might lack the consistency throughout the season. Of course, Spalletti has come in. There's not been a lot of changes within the starting eleven. Skriniar, Vecino and Borja Valero essentially are the new players. But Spalletti's got that new mentality and he wants the team to play in a certain way. And the team aren't getting there just yet. But of course they've got that Mauri Cardi up front with the likes of Perisic and Candreva delivering for him. That does make a difference. And he did make a difference in the derby, of course, scoring three goals. You have AC Milan that just can't quite get there right now. They're not very lucky. Could have easily ended 2-2. Uh, obviously, there was a big mistake by Ricardo Rodriguez in fouling uh, Danilo D'Ambrosio. But the truth is, Inter kind of wanted it a bit more. They had their chances. They took their chances. And now they're there, just behind Napoli. Of course, to say if Inter can challenge for the Scudetto and be two points behind Napoli, come May, well, they'll have to show their skills, their abilities, their strength in Napoli in a week's time. If Inter get out of that game, maybe even losing, but showing they can play on a par with Napoli, well, who knows? The, the sky's the limit for the Nerazzurri. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below about what happened in the last weekend in Serie A. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and support us on Patreon. It's ciao for now.